Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the Xbox One controller. Oh, and I've also made the Xbox 360 controller and the PS3 controller as well. If you guys want to check those out also, feel free to check out the Ghost system and the links below down in the description for links to both of those videos. Moving on to the tutorial, if you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. You'll need some cyan stained clay, also grab black wool, dark grey, light grey, white, red, cyan, lime green, and finally grab yourself some yellow wool. And luckily for us, those are the only materials that we're going to be needing. So once you have each one of these, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'll be making it right here, you're going to want to kick off your controller with a single black wool on the floor. Once you have your black wool, you then, from this single black wool, want to do five up left diagonals. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. On top of that fifth up left diagonal, do a row of eight black wool. So on top of this fifth up left diagonal, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then from this eighth block, do an upright diagonal. Then do five on top. One, two, three, four, five. Then from this fifth block, do an upright diagonal. And do four on top. One, two, three, four. Then do an upright diagonal. And do two on top. One, two. Then do an upright diagonal. And do two on top. One, two. Then do an upright diagonal. Place one on top, and then go right by two. One, two. You then want to go on top of these two right-hand blocks by two. On top of each of them, go up by two. So that'll be one and two, like that. So what you now want to do is take this top right-hand corner block that we have right here and go right of it by one. And then you want to take the block just underneath that, and you want to go right of it by three. So that's one, two, three. Like so. But what you also want to do, going on top of this block that you just went right by one with, you also want to go on top of it by two. One, two. Like so. So you want to form this shape. Once you form this shape, this is what you want to do next. So, come to the right-hand side of the shape that you've just formed, this block right here. Starting from this block, do an upright diagonal. And go right of it by six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then do six bottom right diagonals. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then take this sixth bottom right diagonal and go right by 18. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You then want to take this 18th block and do six up right diagonals. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Just like that. You then want to take this sixth upright diagonal and you want to go right of it by six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then do a bottom right diagonal and go right of it by four. So that's one, two, three, four. Then go on top of those last three blocks that you just placed, each by one, like that. Now, on top of this middle block of the row of three that you've just made, go up on top of that middle block by two, one, two, like so, to form this shape. What you now want to do is underneath these last two blocks that we placed going right where we went right by four, go underneath these last two blocks each by one, like that. Then extend this bottom right-hand corner block going right by one. Then go down by one. Then do a bottom right diagonal, and go down by two, one, two. Then do a bottom right diagonal, and go down by two, one, two. Then do a bottom right diagonal. Then 
That was difficult. Once you've done your bottom right diagonal, you then want to go down by four. One, two, three, four. Then do a bottom right diagonal. And go down by five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Then do a bottom right diagonal. And go down by eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then from this eighth block, you then want to do bottom left diagonals until you connect all the way down to the floor. So just keep doing bottom right diagonals until you connect all the way down to the floor, like so. Then from this block that connects to the floor, you want to go left of it by three. So that's one, two, three. Then do an up left diagonal. Then go left by one. Then do five up left diagonals. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Then go up on top of that fifth up left diagonal by one. Then do two up left diagonals. So that's one and two. Then go up by one. Then go left by nine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then do an up left diagonal and go left by 10. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then do a bottom left diagonal and go left by 7. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And go down by 1. Then do two bottom left diagonals. So that's 1 and 2. Then go down by 1 and do. Five bottom left diagonals. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Then go left of this fifth bottom left diagonal by one. Then do a bottom left diagonal and go left until you connect all the way back to where you first started. And the shape that you want to end up with should look a little bit like this. Perfect, guys. And I know what some of you may be thinking. The left hand side and the right hand side aren't completely balanced, like where you would grip it on the right hand side, where you would grip like the actual bottom part of the controller, it's smaller than it is on the left. Don't worry guys, that is actually how you're supposed to build this thing, it's not, it's not like a mirror image, it's, it's not completely symmetrical, it is a little off on one side, I think it's because it's kind of like a diagonal view, it's supposed to be like that, don't worry about it. Once you've reached this point right here, this is what you want to do next. So guys, we now have to do the top of the controller, and I think to do this, we're now going to come all the way up to the upper left hand side of it. Can you guys remember where we made this weird shape right here? Well, starting from this top block of the weird shape that we made, this block right here, do two up right diagonals. So that's one and two. Then go right of that second upright diagonal by one. Then go up by two, one, two. Then do two up right diagonals. So that's one and two. Then go up by one. Then do two up right diagonals. So that's one and two. Then go right by two, one, two. Then do two bottom right diagonals. So that's one and two. Then go down by five, so that's one, two, three, four, five. You then want to take this fifth block, and not only do you want to go right of it by one, but you also want to go left of it until you connect to the left hand side of where you were just building to form this shape. That's one of the triggers. Once you form that shape, you now want to return it back to this block that we just went right one with, and from this block, do two bottom right diagonals. So that's one and two. Then do two bottom left diagonals. One and two. And everything should now be piecing together, guys. So that's just one of the bumpers that we formed there. What we now want to do is... On top of this single block that we placed going right, and we also went left and connected things together, on top of this single block that we placed going right, go up on top of it by two with your cyan. So that's one, two. Cyan staying clear, I should say. Then place a black wall on top 
of your two clay. Then go right of that black wall by one. Then do a bottom right diagonal. And go right of that diagonal by five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Then do an upright diagonal. And go right of it by ten. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then do a bottom right diagonal. And go right by five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Then do an upright diagonal. And go right by two. So that's one, two. Then go up on top of this second block that you place going right by two. One and two. But you also want to go down from that block by three. So that's one, two, three. Like so. Now, coming back up to this top block that we just made right here where we went up by two. From this block, do two up right diagonals. So that's one and two. Then go right by two, one, two. Then do two bottom right diagonals, so that's one and two. Then go down by one. Then do two bottom right diagonals, so that's one and two. Then go down by two, one, two. Now, not only do you want to go right of this block by one, but you also want to go left until you connect all the way back to what we just built ever so slightly earlier. So as you guys can see, we've now formed one of the triggers. Once you've done that, you now just want to come to this block that we kind of just went right with by one. And you just want to do a bottom right diagonal to connect to the right hand side of the pixel art. So you want to have something which should look like this so far. Now, once you form this shape, you want to come to this kind of like bottom left hand corner of the trigger that you made. This, from this corner block, you want to go left of this by one. You then want to do two bottom left diagonals, one and two. Now, not only do you want to go left of this diagonal until you connect all the way back over to the opposite side of your controller, you not only want to do that, but you also, from this diagonal, want to do two bottom right diagonals and connect all the way back to where we were building ever so slightly earlier. So just to show you guys how that should come together, this is what you want to end up with. And that is the outline of the controller. Once you've got that taken care of, pretty much complete, guys. There you go. Not so difficult, was it? Now, once you've reached this point right here, it's now time for us to actually add a couple of the details. It's not that difficult, really, guys. So, what we now want to do once you've reached this point right here, and obviously pause this if necessary, if you're checking things over, making, thing, making sure things are right, this is what you want to do next. So, first of all, we'll take care of the hardest part. So, come to this kind of like... I've forgotten the name of the shape. This kind of like center bit just underneath the top part of the controller. This right here where the Xbox logo is supposed to be. Going right of this diagonal black wall block that we have right here. Do six dark gray walls. So going right of this diagonal block, six dark gray wall. One, two, three, four, five, six. You then want to do one black wall. You then from that black wall want to do an upright diagonal. And then go up by two, one, two. Then go right by one. Then go up by two, one, two. Then go left by two, one, two. Then go up by one to give you this shape. What you now want to do is starting from on top of this dark grey block that we have right here. You guys can see the one right. This dark grey block that we just placed before we placed the black wall. Connect that with a row of black wool, like diagonally to what we've just made, if you guys can see the, can kind of see what I'm getting at. It's kind of difficult to put into words, but you want to form that shape with a row of black. What we now want to do is going right of this first black wall that we placed right here, do a row of five white wool going right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Then do a black wall. Then up left diagonally from that black wall place, another black wall. And go up by two. One, two. Then go left by one. Then go up one. And then you want to go left by one, but from the same block you also want to go up one. 
then right two, one two, then up by one, like that, to give you this shape. And just as we did on the left hand side, you also want to do the same thing on the right hand side. So you also just want to do a row of black wool that kind of just connects like the bottom to the top diagonally on the sides, if you guys can see what I'm getting at. And what you then want to do is you then just want to fill this center shape in with white wool. It's very simple. So we're just filling the center part in with white wool. And that will be that. And that is the little miniature Xbox logo that we have at the center of the controller that lights up white. Now, once you've done that, you then want to take out your dark gray wall. And I suppose this is kind of like a diamond shape, by the way, guys. It's kind of like a diamond, but it's not pointy on the bottom. That's the shape that I was going to say. Anyway, uh, what you now want to do is with your dark gray wall, you kind of want to trace all the way along the inside of your diamond shape. And you just want to have something which should look, once you've finished it, a little bit like ba, 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 this. So you want to trace along the inside of it, along the inside of the outline with your dark grey wall, and you'll end up with something that should look exactly like this. Very, very simple, guys. And once you've done that, all you have to do to finish off this little section, this little logo section, just completely fill the rest of it in with black wool, which is exactly what I'm doing here, guys. So we're just filling in the center part with black wool. And I think we'll actually take, con we'll, we will take care, not take control of the rest of the controller is what I was going to say. We'll take care of the rest of the upper part of the controller whilst we're here, because it's actually really, really simple. Whoops. My bad. There we go. Fill that rest of fill the rest of it in with black, and what you'll end up with is something that should look exactly like this. Nice and simple, guys. Now, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So we now want to fill the upper part just above where, where we just built, where the logo is. Where kind of like it's kind of like the back of the controller, just above the battery pack. You just want to fill this section in with cyan stained clay. So this little like very middle section at the top of the middle of the controller, just completely fill this in with your cyan stained clay, which is exactly what I'm doing now. So you just want to fill this in with cyan stained clay, like so. And then you want to fill the trigger and the bumper. You want to fill both of those in with dark gray wool. And that applies to both sides, guys. So not only do you want to do that to the left-hand side, but you also want to do the exact same thing to the right-hand side as well. So fill the bumper and the trigger on the left and right-hand side in with dark gray wool. And once we've done that, all we have to do is add in the start button and we also have to add in the well it's not a select button anymore really is it it's kind of like an info button or something um you just have to do those two small buttons we also have to do obviously the d-pad and the analog sticks and we also have to do like a b y and x and we also have a couple of lines to add on the controller as well which are uh, right at the bottom where you kind of grip it. I don't know what you actually call that, like the things that you grip, like the bottom two sticks of the controller, if you guys know what I'm talking about, the two handles. Not sure what you actually call those. So what you want to have for the top of the controller, you want to end up with something that should look like this. Easy, guys. Nothing to it whatsoever. Now, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So once you have reached this point right here, and obviously pause this if necessary, you now want to come to the kind of like the bottom center part of the controller. You're looking for this block that we have right here. Can you guys see it? I'm sure that you won't have too much trouble doing it. So from this block, you want to do a free dark gray wall going left. So that's one, two, three. You then want to do bottom left diagonals until you connect all the way down to the bottom part of the controller where you actually grip it. And again, I, I don't know what to call these things exactly. They're not really handles, are they? And you don't actually want to just do diagonals until you reach the bottom. The bottom bit wants to be two vertical dark gray wall blocks. So you want to end up with something that should look like this. And not only do you want to have this pattern on the left hand side, but you also want to do the same thing on the right hand side as well. So from the right hand side, starting from this equivalent block that we have right here, do uh, three dark gray wool, one, two, three, and then you do diagonals until you almost reach the bottom, and then you just kind of like place 
an extra dark grey wall going down instead of doing the last diagonal. But of course, it's very easy to see what you actually have to do. Boom, there you go. And what you'll end up with once you've done that on both sides is something that should look exactly like that. Nothing to it, guys. Nothing to it whatsoever. Once you've reached this point right here, this is what you want to do next. So, I think that we will take care of the harder side of the controller first. So, come to this block right here, where we have like the bottom center row of the controller. Starting from this right hand block right here, you want to go up on top of here by two with your cyan staying clay. So, that's one and two, just like that. Then, on top of the cyan stained clay, you want to go up by two with your dark grey. One, two. You then want to go left by one. Then up by three. One, two, three. Then right by one. Then up by one. Right by one. Up one. Right by three. One, two, three. Then go down by one. Right one. Down one. Right one, down three, one, two, three. Then left by one, down one, left one, down one. Then go left by three, one, two, three. Then go up by one. And this is the shape that you want to have made, guys. And this is the right hand analog stick. And once you form this shape, you can actually proceed to just fill this thing in with light grey wool, which is exactly what I'm doing here. So let me fill this in with light grey wool and then we can move on to the next bit. So bam, there you go, guys. That is the right analog stick. Once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So, come all the way up to the top of your analog stick and starting from this left hand block on top of the stick, you want to go up on top of it by three with your cyan stain clay. So that's one, two, three. Then do a black wall going up. Then go left of that black wall by one. Then go on top of these two black wall by two each with your light grey. So that's one and two. Then do black wool going all the way around that light grey wool. So just going all the way around, but not connecting on the corners. You just want to make that right there. And that is just like the start button. What you then want to do is taking this upper right hand block of the button. You want to go right of this by two with your cyan stain clay. So one, two. You then want to do one black wool. Then go up on top of that wall by one. Then do two up right diagonal. So one, two. Then go right by one. Then do two bottom right diagonal. So one and two. Then go down by one. Then do two bottom left diagonals. One and two. Then go left by one. Then do an up left diagonal to give you this shape. That is the X button. Once you've done that, you now want to come to the upper right hand corner of your X button and going up on top of this block, do a cyan stain clay. Then go right of it by one with your clay. Then do a black wall on top of that second cyan. And go up on top of it by one. Then do two up right diagonals. One, two. Then right by one. Then do two bottom right diagonals. Then go down by one. Then do two bottom left diagonals. One, two. Then left one. Then an up left diagonal to give you this shape. And that is just your Y button. As you guys can imagine, we're now going to do the exact same thing two more times. So what we now want to do is starting from underneath the right hand side block, this block right here, of your Y button, you want to do two cyan stain clay coming down. One, two. You then want to do a black wall. And then you want to do two up right diagonals from that black wall. So that's one and two. Then go right by one. Then two bottom right diagonals, one and two. Then down one. Two bottom left diagonals, one and two. Left one. Two up left diagonals, one and two. And you should find that that is your B button. Now, once you've got that taken care of, you now want to come underneath your Y button where we have these two, uh, where we have these two black wool right here and go underneath these two black wool with your cyan stained clay by three. So underneath each one of these, one, two, 
3 Cyan Stained Clay, then do 2 Black Wool underneath there. Then starting from the left hand side you can kind of just form the button, so 2 bottom left diagonals, then we go down 1, then 2 bottom right diagonals, then a right 1, then 2 up right diagonals, and up 1, then an up left diagonal, and we're there, so you want to end up with something that should look like this, and that is just a cluster of buttons, which is of course A, X, Y, and B. Now what we have to do is obviously just fill these in with their appropriate colours, and obviously if you guys are building this on your Xbox, you guys will know which are which, but just to remind you, the top one is yellow, the right one is red, the bottom one is green, and the left one is blue, so... You just have to fill these in with their appropriate colours, which is exactly what I'm doing here. Oh, by the way, guys, the reason that I chose cyan over dark blue is just to make the controller look a little bit brighter. You can use any colours you want, really. But what you want to end up with for the entire right-hand side of your controller, you want to end up with something that should look exactly like this. Nice and easy, guys. Nothing too difficult about it whatsoever. Now, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next, guys. So... Moving on to the bottom center left hand side, so that's kind of very vague what I just said, but basically what we want to do, you know where we started on the right hand side, well you now want to start on the left hand side in the exact same position, so kind of like going up on top of this block right here, or going left of this center block that we have right here, going up on top of this block do a row of two cyan same clay, so that's one and two, just like that. You then want to take out your dark grey wool, and you want to go up by two, one, two. You then want to go left of those two dark grey walls, each by one, one and one. You then want to go down from this bottom left hand corner, dark grey wall, by one. And then you want to go left by four, so that's one, two, three, four. Then go up by two, one, two. Then go left by two, one, two. Then up by four, one, two, three, four. Then right by two, one, two. Then up by two, one, two. Then right by four, one, two, three, four. Then down by two, one, two. Then right by two, one, two. Then down by four, one, two, three, and four. And what you want to end up with should look a little bit like this. Now, we've not finished this just yet. What you now want to do inside of the, or kind of like on the outside of the corners of like the bottom left hand corner, the upper left hand corner, and the right hand corner, you just want to place an additional dark grey wall. So you want to end up with something that should look like this, and that is just the D-pad right there. And then you can proceed to fill the centre part of your D-pad in with light grey wool, which is exactly what I'm doing. I'm doing it very poorly, but that's exactly what you want to do, guys. So I'm just doing all of the light grey wool, adding all of this in, and it should look, once it's finished, a little bit like this. Nothing too difficult about that whatsoever. Now, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So, on top of the upper right-hand corner of your D-pad, on top of this block right here, do a row of two cyan stained clay coming up on top of this block. So, one, two. Then, do a black wool. Then, go right of that black by one. Then, do two rows of two light grey on top of your two blacks. So, that's one and two. Then do black wool going all the way around, and of course you guys know that we're kind of like, we're kind of just forming like the select button or the options button or whatever you guys want to call this thing. It's, it's just like two little windows on top of each other, it's kind of like the options menu in most games. Anyway, once you have that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So, you now want to go left of this bottom left hand black wool right here. By five with your cyan clay. So going left of this black wall, five. One, two, three, four. Whoops, hang on. We may have messed that row up. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Then take out your dark gray wool and do one dark gray. Then go down by one. Then left one. Down one. Left one. Down one. Left three. One, two, three. Then up one. Left one. Up one left one, then up by three, one, two, three, then right one, up one, right one, up one, 
right three, one, two, three. Then down one, right one, down one, right one, down one. Boom. You want to end up with this, which is the outline of the left analog stick. Now let's fill this thing in with light grey wool. So we just want to do one, two, three, four, five, and boom. There we go, and what you want to end up with in total, guys, once you finish that left analog stick, is something that should look exactly like that. There you go, guys. That is your controller almost complete. All we have to do now, guys, is just completely fill this center part in with cyan clay, and that is quite literally all we have to do, guys. So, why don't I do that for you, and then I can come back and show you what it should look like. I don't feel as though I have to include this in the tutorial, because it's going to take quite a while, and there's no reason to just tack time onto the tutorial just for no reason, is there, guys? I didn't think so. So, let me add all of the cyan clay into the controller, and I'll be back once it's finished. Back in a mo. And here you are, guys. This is what the controller should look like once it has been 100% fully filled in. As I said, all you have to do to fill in that bottom section is just completely fill it in with cyan stained clay. There's nothing much to it whatsoever. And once you've done that, that is the tutorial over, guys. That is your controller 100% fully completed. Now, if you guys liked this video, I would really appreciate it if you could do me a massive favor and give me a like, share, favor, anything you'd feel like doing to help me out, guys. I would really appreciate it. I put a lot of time and effort into this. Wasn't as easy as you might imagine. Whilst I did fundamentally copy this thing right here, it was kind of difficult to do. So if you could give me a like, share, favor, anything you'd feel like doing, I would just really pre appreciate it, guys. I love it when you show me love. Uh, feel free to let me know down in the comments, what else would you like to see me do? Would you like me to see me do the PS4 controller, an Xbox One, a PS4, a PC? What do you want to see me do? That is the question that I pose to you guys. Also, if you haven't made the Xbox 360 controller and the PS3 controller, uh, feel free to check out the guard system and the links below down in the description. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.